Hi, everyone. So today we are talking once again. So in case you didn't know, I have a second channel now. And the last I checked, I reached like 180. And the last I checked, I reached 180 subscribers. So thank you so much to everyone who is going over to that channel because I'm trying to hopefully make the second channel the main channel. It'll take like a lot of effort, obviously, but I'm sure we could do it. But basically, one of my hyperfixations, and when I say hyperfixation, I really do mean that. Over the years, like, my hyperfixations have been horses, like just horses. I've always loved horses, but also just like animals in general. But within the past few years, I got way, way more into mythology. I've always loved mythology, but I never really knew where to begin with it because, like, there's so much. But since getting into mythology and the stories about it and growing my book collection and learning more about mythology, I was like, well, my last two videos on my channel, on my second channel, were about my two horses I got, my robot horses, S'mores model and the butterscotch model. But like I said, like, I'm into mythology, so I was like, what should the next video be? And I thought, why not mermaids, sirens, selkies, kraken, kelpies, like, sea monsters, obviously. So, if you are interested in books and mythology, stuff like that, then obviously head over to my channel, because the video about sirens, selkies, and mermaids literally just published. I thought it would be great to start off talking about, like, book recommendations because I hate when you want to learn about mythology and the easiest thing to do is just Google it. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, when I want to learn something, I try to avoid using the internet because it just feels so much better to pick up a book and read it. I feel like I could also focus better sometimes doing that. And I don't know why, but, like, for me, information sometimes doesn't feel real unless if I have it in a physical form. And for me, it was really, really hard to find good books about mermaids, sirens, selkies, sea monsters, a lot of stuff. It's just so hard to find really good books sometimes. I don't know why, but, like, if you want to find a good book, sometimes you have to, like, dig for it. And I have grown my book collection so good over the past, like, year or two. So obviously I really want to share that. I was thinking about doing like an updated book collection video, but book collection videos aren't really that useful sometimes because if you're looking for a specific topic, then watching me talk about my entire collection isn't really that helpful. So book recommendations based on certain topics is like such a benefit, honestly. It's really useful because like a few months ago I was looking for a new book and I found a book recommendation video and I watched it and I found a few new books through that video. So obviously shout out to all of the book YouTubers. I had no clue that booktube, book talk, like these like book channels on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram even, like they're so popular. I didn't realize that people cared that much about books. I thought it was me, honestly, that really cared about books a lot because there has been several times where I got into a fight with somebody and they were like, all you do is read, like to insult me, like reading books is bad. So to be able to find a community of people online who also love reading books and that's their hobby or their like hyperfixation is just like really great. As a person who has hyperfixations, I find it so important to just really deep dive into what you enjoy for a while, I feel like my hyperfixation, like, moved to start stable, and it really wasn't healthy for me, so since I'm, like, getting more focused lately, it's really great to be, like, back on track with, like, talking about mythology and things I really care about, like mermaids. Also, of course, like, animal rights. I'm gonna be doing that, too. This is nice. This is good for me because I used to literally spend like 10 hours a day playing Star Stable. Like I'd wake up really early and then go to bed really early because I was waking up 
excited to play Star Stable. Like, I would spend hours every day playing Star Stable. And it's not really healthy to be doing that because I don't always have a fun time playing Star Stable. So, so if it doesn't really bring you that much fun, then obviously go focus on a different passion. This is great because now I could focus on my passions while playing Star Stable as like a hobby, which is way better because whenever I've used Star Stable as a passion, I feel like I need to log on and do all the chores. And if I miss my chores for that day, I feel like a total failure. Like guys, I failed at life because I forgot to care for my 70 horses that are digital. <laughs> like it just doesn't sound right. Obviously, if you have a lot of fun and happiness playing Star Stable, then like good for you. Whenever I get a horse to ride, I feel like I have to talk about it. It's literally so pretty. I just love those like zebra looking horses. But yeah, I guess that's it for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!